Hi everyone. Welcome to my tutorial on how you can make it so that a macro is password protected. And what I mean by that is before a user can actually run the macro itself, they must type in a password that you define. Okay, so this is really helpful or useful if you have users that are using your spreadsheets and they may be clicking on macros, they don't exactly know what they're doing, you don't want them to actually be executing all these macros unless they are confident on what they're doing uh, because it may cause irreversible errors or you may just want to lock it down for a whole host of any other reasons so I've already set this up what our macro does in this case just as an example it is, is inserts a new row and it also formats the grid lines so I'm just going to show you this in action okay so when I press my command button, you see I get a dialog box. Password protected macro, please enter password. Okay, if I enter the password, which in this case is password, and press OK, you can see my macro has run. If I try that again, and type in, uh, I, let's say I misspell password, just so, uh, just for example purposes, I get this dialog box, the password you entered was incorrect. If I press OK, nothing happens. If I try this again, I press cancel or close this box, nothing happens. Okay, so I'm going to show you how this is done. This does rely, rely on a fair bit of code. If you are new to macros in Excel, follow my beginner's guide, which is linked below. But we're going to delve into this now. So I'm going to explain the code to you because it is a little bit complicated. So the first thing that you want to change is, and you can see this in the description below, please enter password between the parentheses is the message you want to send to the user. Password protected macro is the name of the box that highlights. So let's change this now name of box message to user okay so when I run this macro later on this is all going to change for you so we then have a case is and we have a do nothing now what this is is if they don't type the password in correctly nothing happens which is essentially what you want to happen okay case is equals password now password is what you want your password to be so let's change something completely random let's say turkey this is what you want the password to run the macro so alter that for whatever you want underneath there is the code you want to run if the user gets the password correct so in our case it inserts a new row and formats those grid lines okay your message box down here is essentially what you tell the user if they didn't get the password correct. Okay, so let's just use this again. Um, let's say try again. Stupid. Just so you can see this in work in action. Those are the parts of the code you will need to alter. So you paste in your macro code for what you want to happen if the user get, gets the password correct over what I've just highlighted. Everything else should make sense. So I'm gonna show you this again in real time. So, come back out of design mode. And now if I press my button, okay, name of box, message to user. You can see that my input box has changed. Our password was turkey, I think. But let's just say we got this incorrect and put chicken. We'll see. Try again, stupid. Okay. I hope that's clarified what those alterations between the parentheses actually means. Okay. Now, what I would also advise is that you also lock down your code if you are doing this. And that's because if I'm a bit clued up with macros and you try to password protect your actual code itself, if you only do these steps, I can just go, oh, I can see your password here is turkey. So therefore, when I 
come back out, I know the password. Okay? So you want to actually lock the code down as well. Now I'm going to outline how to do this in another video. So please keep your eyes peeled for that one. But I hope this has helped. I have written this up as a guide on the website. So please, if you've struggled to follow along, it outlines it in text form there. So it might be a bit easier for you. That's in the description below. The code we've used is in the description below. And also, the beginner's guide is in the description below. So again, if some things don't make sense to you, please follow that. It will get you up on your feet. If you've liked this, if it's helped you, please like, subscribe. It helps me out. Thank you very much. See you next time.